Hi everyone, hey it's Diane. I'm down in my basement today and in front of you I am growing cilantro indoors. Look at it. It's ready to harvest and cilantro is really easy to grow under lights indoors. So give it a try sometime. Um, I had these growing, I think I transplanted them in these six packs and they're growing in just a peat and perlite mix and today we're just going to trim some. There's going to be like three different ways you can preserve or use fresh for your dishes okay okay so this will be easy to do and I'm just going to take you along with me today and try to get this trim because it'll grow again we're just going to cut off I'm just going to be cutting off some like this and first we're going to just going to lay them down and when I get a bunch then we're going to put them in the water they say that drying it it's just doesn't have the flavor as well so I am doing it this way okay probably gonna freeze most of them and I don't have any ice cube trays I gotta go out in my camper and get them and and you can see here and you see some new growth coming here just take and trim it right above like that like so that nice it's gonna smell like cilantro here wow that stuff is potent but you can tell where the new leaves are coming out leave them alone and let's just cut the big big stemmed ones so we can get these harvest and get these in some water or baggies however you want you know to preserve them for later use okay let's do this let's take this out we so can see it better and watch what I do here I'll just grab it and you can see there's new growth down in there let's go like that these will come back how well they'll come back in my home I'm not sure uh, these you know if they were outside in the heat and of course we're not real warm yet they will start bolting after so long so it's always nice to have some fresh just going to trim them like so. They're kind of tangled a little bit. But wonderful, you can grow these indoors, guys and gals. Easy. This was a piece of cake to do. Wow, do they ever smell. So, that's what I got. Let's take them off. That's what they'll regrow now. And there's some yellow leaves in there. No big deal trim them off and then set it aside so now I'll show you what I'm going to do I'm just going to this is if you want to use them fresh okay if you want to have a bunch in the fridge for like a week at a time which is just plenty because this stuff goes a long ways you could probably do a little rubber band around these if you wanted to and then put them in the water this way they stay fresh okay and then what they suggest you do is take a bag and loosely put it over. Now you could probably cut it, but loosely put it over like this and then put it in your fridge. Okay, that's one method. The next one, I'm just going to cut them and I'm going to put them in bags and freeze them because I want them for later use, right? Just cut them big ones. They do get a little lanky in here. But you know what? They'll be fine. I'm just taking the stem and all. You can kind of see how I'm doing it. Biggest thing is just make sure you leave the new growth alone. like that okay now with this one I'm just going to store them in a bag maybe just so much at a time I haven't done this before but I think it'll work pretty good and then put them in the freezer probably enough and you can probably just pull a little bit out as you want it 
And if you're these are outside grown, you want to wash them, but inside they're going to be fine for me. So I'm going to finish doing this, and then um, the ice cube tray method is pretty self-explanatory. Chop the leaves up, chop it all up, put them in the cube trays, and put water in them, freeze them. When they frozen good, put them in baggies for pu pulling out later. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you what these look like, and they're going to be fine. They'll grow back. Don't worry. They're going to be just fine. And how much of a crop I'll get next, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But, yeah, grow some cilantro indoors. You guys will love it. And it's so nice to be able to do this, especially if your weather is still cold like ours is. So take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.